Hello, my name is Wai Jilin, Technical Product Manager of Robotic and Autonomous Systems and MathWorks. In this hands-on section, I would like to discuss about motion planner for robot manipulator, specifically bi-directional rapidly exploring random tree algorithm for pick and place robot application. Here we are seeing a simulation on the left and a corresponding video on the right of a robot arm performing pick and place. Pick and place robots are commonly used in the modern manufacturing environment. Pick and place automation can speed up the process of picking up the part or item and placing them in another location. Typically, this application uses advanced perception system as well as autonomous algorithm to identify grasp and then move the object from one place to, do, uh, to another. Pick and place robot in general include element of perception, planning, and control. Robot manipulator can automatically detect specific object based on camera input and plan a path to pick the object. If a position of the object is now fixed, then this dynamic environment will make the complex problem compared to the traditional pick and place task where everything is known beforehand. As you can think of, it involves several different technologies and concepts like robotic optimization, computer vision and machine learning, control logic and core simulation, and so on. To begin with designing this pick and place robot application, it will be a good idea to start with a system level design that is representing the component that you will be need and the interaction between them. For this case, we will need an object detector and classifier from perception module and motion planner, supervisory state controller, and simulator or real robot hardware to prototype, iterate, and test on it. Among these elements, this hands-on section will specifically discuss about motion planner for robot manipulator. Using manipulator to pick and place the object in an environment may require past planner algorithm, like rapidly exploring random tree planner. It takes an initial configuration, final configuration, and environment as your the input. The so what makes this problem interesting is the constraint that needed to be satisfied. Example of constraints are robot joint limit and obstacle in the environment. Motion planner will find the collision pre-pass from starting configuration to goal configuration. In here, I would like to discuss about bidirectional RLT algorithm for robot manipulator, specifically on how to tune the sum of a parameter before the actual pick and place workflow. Bidirectional RLT planner create two tree at the specified starting and the goal in a configuration. You will need to specify some property. First, maximum connection distance between planned configuration and optional connect to heuristic property to potentially increase the speed. To extend each tree from start and goal configuration, planner generate a random configuration. And if a valid, which means no collision with the environment, take a step from the nearest node based on max connection distance property. After each extension, the planner attempt to connect between two trees. Embedded computation or connection that collide with the environment are not added to the tree. When enable connect to heuristic properties are true, this disable the, the limit on the max connection distance property and then connect collision pre two tree directly whenever they see each other. 
when the environment is less crowded, connect to heuristic property is useful for shorter planning time. When we set the enable connect heuristic property to the false, we limit extension distance to connecting between two trees to the value of max connection distance. This will result in higher success rate of the finding the valid plan, but may lead to the longer path. You can use a path shortening function to shorten specified paths by learning a randomized shortening strategy. For example, let's say this is the initial path. Select two non um, and adjacent edge, edge first. And then select intermediate configuration on the edge selected. And then try to try out to connect them. If not valid, skip adding these edge. Repeat with um, another two non and adjacent edge. If valid, add this edge. And then you can delete another longer edge. We have uh, several examples on manipulator motion planner from the Robotism toolbox that you can try out. In here, I'm going to use one of the examples that really showcase how to use manipulator LLT object to tune the planner parameter and the planner pass between two joint configurations. After tuning the planner parameter, the Loba manipulator planner pass to move an object from one place to the another. Okay, so first, we have a helper function to load the Loba model and its environment. The output of this helper function have Loba model, an initial configuration of a joint position for the Loba and environment, which is a set of collision objects that represent the Loba environment. Now we create a LLT path planner with a Loba model and environment that we got from the help function in the above. Let's define some parameter, point 0.3 for max connection distance, point 0.1 for distance resolution for validating motion between configuration. And then we specify start and goal in the configuration for the loba. In here, default value of enable connect heuristic property is set as a true on planner object. The path planner check for self collision and collision with this environment. This is our baseline setting. So the LRT planner should generate a collision prepath through the environment from home configuration to the picking configuration. Now let's tune path planner by modifying some planner parameter. First, let's set max connection distance property to a larger value. This will cause longer planner in the planned path. We can notice the change in the past. The lower arm swing much higher due to the larger connection distance. Now let's step back at the max connection distance to the baseline value 0.3 and we change validation distance to really small value 0.01 to enable 10 times final validation of the motion along the edge in the planet path. A smaller value is useful in case of a crowd environment with a lot of a collision object there. With that, we can see the robot arm move a much smaller distance, but it took longer planning time. Let's try something different now. Now, let's take a look at the motion after we change connect the heuristic property on the planner object. The connector heuristic allow our planner to greedily and aggressively join the start and goal trees. When we set enable connector heuristic to the false, 
the results give you the longer planning times. We can see the robot motion become jerky after we disable the connect heuristic property on the planner object within this less cluttered environment. We set back, enable connect heuristic to the true. Now our planner looks good and it has shorter planner and reasonable planning times. Let's do now pick and place a workflow where robot move an object through the environment. For simplicity, in this example, we attached a cylinder to the, to the end effect of the robot and move it to the new location. After picking an object, we specify goal configuration for placing an, an object over the, over the wall. We modify planner parameter over here for new start and goal location. Now to shorten the path, we will use shorten function and specify a number of iteration. Please notice the lower path is shorter, but it will result in longer computation times. Today, we cover some motion planning algorithm with MATLAB to simulate and deploy for your mobile robot navigation as well as a robot manipulator. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. So we have a lot of materials to get started with. I encourage you to visit our related product page, which I have shown here. We have a short video to help you to ramp up on several topics, including uh, this section we discussed. In addition, we have a, a large number of examples and seminar and webinar materials that are published on our website to help accelerate your development effort. I would ask you to explore these resources and see if these can help with your application. We will be happy to support your user case, so feel free to reach out to us with uh, your question. Thank you for your attention.